I know I must do something to save them from more violence. The Armenians, they were stateless. They had no one really to protect their interests. Our poor people are driven into deserts. Sick, aged children, women are falling on the roadsides and dying. Have you forgotten poor Armenia? Her main concern was to find some refuge for these people, and she did this single-handedly. The Turks were getting organized for another attack. I made it my business to free myself from this hell. In every Armenian family we have stories about genocide and about what we call it pachepach, which means run away or run, run. All these people came with their horror stories of what they had gone through, how much they have lost. Diana Apkar helped refugees with logistics, food, place to stay. She was a woman in a man's world and she was making things happen. They are desperate to go home but cannot. They have no homeland and so they go in search of a new one. I will assist them. I will be their surety. Their expenses will be incurred by me. Other women just simply didn't do these sort of things. The little mother of a nation, that was her nickname. She managed to help as many refugees as she could to move to the United States. Her entire work, entire life actually, was a true diplomat and true uh, humanitarian. Aparov Dzekerumek. Yes, Keprakem says. We tend to forget the power of the individual. The power of the individual is a remarkable phenomenon. 